We have an update from GeoVax Labs, Inc. Trades on the NASDAQ under the symbol GOVX. It's a clinical stage biotech company de developing novel therapies and vaccines for solid tumor cancers and many of the world's most threatening infectious diseases. Happy to welcome back Chairman, President, and CEO, David Dodd. Welcome back, David. Thank you. It's good to be here. All right. Well, since your last update with the Emerging Growth Conference, it was back in July. Geovax has experienced rather strong stock and investor support. So we look forward to your comments and updates. Thank you. It's, it's been somewhat of a whirlwind. So let, let's just jump right into it. And I look forward to the questions that you'll ask at the end. So I, I'm going to focus today because this is what's really been driving. There's been a lot of noise and, and support for our stock. I think in the last week, uh, business week, we've we've traded over 200 million uh, shares. We've seen significant increases in our, in our price. We've conducted as a result of financing. So let, let's talk about what we're doing. The, the priority vaccine programs I'm going to talk about today are the two key drivers for, for all of the interest, I believe, behind GFX that we're experiencing. One is our next generation COVID-19 vaccine, which, which we refer to as CMO4S1, and that relates to the BARDA Project Next Gen that we talked about uh, back in July. But the other one, which is more recent noise, is related to our, our candidate for MPOX smallpox. Really, it's the MPOX vaccine. We refer to it as GEO hyphen MVA. And I'm going to jump right into those two because they are driving a tremendous amount of interest and support behind us. And I'm sure that uh, the viewers would really like to know what's going on, why is it going on, and what you're going to do about it you know, further. So in jumping into it, you know, we talked about uh, our pro the project next gen. BARDA announced on uh, in June, uh, we in BARDA, I should say, we announced a, the funding, almost $400 million in funding in support of our vaccine candidate as a next generation vaccine. And that's a tremendous amount of, of support that we have received. And it really is, is, I guess I would refer to it somewhat rocketing the interest, but it certainly could catapult and be a catalyst for growth and development of, of GeoVax in total, just as we saw in 2020 when Operation Warp Speed funding was, was provided to several companies. And a good example would be Moderna, uh, which did not have a product uh, approved as yet, was, was working on several clinical candidates, but it enabled them to, to move forward and accelerate. And they contributed to basically breaking, you know, breaking the back of the pandemic with their, with their good science and technology, but it brought them forward. First generation vaccines were not perfect. We know that. They weren't as durable. They don't handle the emerging variants the way we'd like to see. And so with that, we now are dealing with Project Next Gen out of the White House and out of BARDA. And we're in a, a very exciting trial that is being sponsored by BARDA. It's a head-to-head -head comparison against one of the first-generation mRNA vaccines consisting of, of 10,000 patients. There'll be approximately 81 sites. So this is very exciting. So the, I think what viewers would like to know is, okay, so big deal. Where are you? Has it even started? Have you even gotten any money yet? What's going to go on? What, what should we be looking at for the remainder of this year in terms of milestones that you're achieving? And so I'm going to give you an update on There are approximately 100 sites for, for the for the study. And I'm very pleased to say that although we announced this, this award in, in this trial on June the 18th, already we have over 80 of the sites confirmed. So it's moving very quickly. We expect to be seeing the initiation, the activation of this trial in the first half of 2025. So what is the rate limiting step? The rate limiting step, I would have generally say, is first of all, you've got to have sites confirmed and, and ready to go. Well, we're getting there very quickly. You need to then have, it's not the patients at this stage, you have to have product available. If you don't have product available, there's no need to be recruiting patients because you're going to lose them if you're not able to vaccinate them and get the study going. So we are we are we have already started the manufacturing and support of the product. So the timeline su suggests and indicates that we will indeed be able to start on time during the first half of 2025. We think, well, from everything we see, our, our 
see our clinical research partner, which is Elucent, is geared up and focused on having the patients ready. We are talking about a GMP produced product. Uh, there have been other companies that that had gone forward uh, somewhat earlier in terms of receiving an award, but they had a little bit of a stumble because they didn't realize they needed to have GMP produced product to be ready. Well, we, our experience, and we, some of us, you know, are older guys have been in this business a long time. We know that you have to have that. We started the process of preparation for manufacturing months ago with the expectation that we would receive this award. So we expect that we will be able to execute uh, on schedule, maybe even a, a little bit ahead of schedule with product ready, sites confirmed, patients ready, and we look forward to giving updates in the remainder of this year as we progress with the operational preparation and then in the uh, the first half of next year to talk about that we've actually activated it. So we're very excited about this. This is exciting news and very fast paced. But I also want to indicate that from a business strategy, we're focused on developing our product among those patients who have compromised immune systems because there are over 50 such adults in the United States, over 400 million adults worldwide, people that suffer from various blood cancers, renal disease, diabetes, or you know, different conditions that have weakened them, their immune condition. We believe that our product uh, will has the potential to be the preferred product and the leading market share among this patient population which will drive, as you'll see later, significant value for the company. And we, it won't put us in a position to have to then compete directly with, with the larger players, more established players. We also believe that with success coming out of the Project NextGen trial, that we very likely could end up being the, the preferred booster for, for whatever the first generation vaccine is to utilize our vaccine as the booster giving a much broader, longer lasting type of booster than what we're seeing right now. And we know that the public frustration having to have continuous boosters because the current ones do not maintain their protective immunity against these emerging variants. So we're very excited about this opportunity. Then we have our other clinical trials that are in phase two for which we'll be announcing results yet this year. We'll touch on that on a milestone chart later on. So let me now turn to the other news of the day, which is really the GOMVA. So we, we had a, a public health declaration by WHO uh, one week ago today on August the 14th. And basically it said it's a global health emergency. Right now in the world, there's a single supplier. There's a single supplier that has insufficient capability and capacity to manufacture what is needed. Africa alone is saying that they need 20 million doses. The single supplier is saying that if they go all out, they anticipate they can produce 2 million doses. That's one-tenth of what is needed for Africa alone, that they could do that through throughout uh, between now and through the end of 2025. There has to be more. We need more. WHO is driving an initiative right now seeking to identify other potential suppliers of this type of vaccine. It's the only way we'll get it done. You can't expand the current uh, manufacturer in a timely manner. Fortunately, Geovax has already produced, the, the critical aspect of going into manufacturing is have a CG, current GMP, so good manufacturing practices produce master seed virus of this vaccine. We've already produced that in anticipation that something such as this would occur. We're in dialogue with the various stakeholders, both globally as well as within the U.S. These are the people such as WHO, et cetera, who are driving this thing, and they're looking already. They've issued a request for who has something that can contribute to this. We believe that we are the furthest along behind the current supplier, and we're already in discussions with not only these stakeholders but also the, the necessary regulatory agencies to be able to pursue an emergency use licensing and be able to contribute to this. So this is moving very quickly, a lot going on, and we believe that GFX is well positioned. This has been the driver of our stock performance over the last week, where we have traded approximately 200 million shares during those five to six days of trading, and we've seen our stock price go up from what was $2.50, $2.50 a share on the 13th of August, 
to where it hit on Monday. It during midday trading, it was over eleven dollars a share, and we're having a very strong day today. We ended up con conducting a raise on on a Monday night. We talked about that, announced that. So so we're uh, moving very quickly, trying to take advantage because we need the capital to be able to go forward in an accelerated manner. So these are the, the, the real key areas that we are working on. And if you look at our milestones coming up for the remainder of the year, it's really about the, the next generation COVID-19 vaccine, and it's about the MVA, basically the, the MPOX vaccine. And that's really what we are focused on. And I don't know if we have any time for questions, Anna, or not, but there's a lot of value here, as you can see, over $40 billion in market potential of what we have with these two products worldwide focused on the loan. So I'm happy to take any questions. If there isn't time, I apologize to the viewers, but we appreciate your interest in, in GFX. All right, David, great job. We are out of time, but uh, you gave us a very thorough update with all of this exciting news. So congratulations and just come back on with some more updates soon. Certainly will. And thank you and you and your colleagues. We appreciate working with you. All right. We'll see you soon. Everyone right. stay with us. We'll be right back.